Hello everyone and welcome to Battlefield for Beta or Beta. I just call it Beta. Do not go into this again. We had this problem with Battlefield 3 and I'm not going into all this Beta Beta business. All right, I call it Beta. I'm English. This is how most of us say it. Live with it. So I know in the last Acorn Life I said I wouldn't really be doing like gaming videos because I'll be concentrating more on work and life and that's true. But it's not going to stop me doing the occasional kind of video here and there. And, you know, of course, with Battlefield 4, Battlefield is a huge part of my channel, or it was in the Bad Company 2 gear days, because, you know, that was the best game ever. Um, Battlefield 4 still hasn't beaten Bad Company 2, in my opinion, but it has solved a lot of the problems I had in Battlefield 3. So that's awesome. What you are seeing now is my first ever Battlefield 4 game. Like I just recorded it all straight off the bat, and it was a lot of fun. I had so much fun with it. I was playing with um, one person I knew, one person I kind of, you know, play with occasionally, but, you know, not really. And then the rest were just randoms who were in the same team speak. I don't know who they were. I guess they were a friend of somebody else in the channel. But um, you'll, if you want to listen to the live commentary, I've also done that. I'll be doing this for the first three games I played. So this was the first game. In a couple of days, there'll be the second game with live commentary and post commentary, and then the third game will be live commentary and post commentary. But I'm having like you can see it now. You can tell this is my first game because like I haven't set this up uh, to the way I like it, and I still haven't actually. Um, I need to do my key bindings because I like to have my different. I like to have my setup, so I needed to change my crouch and like and my prone to the keys I like. And next up, I'll have to set my mouse to the keys I like. And this is going to be, I think this is like a 20 minute video. Let me just, yeah, I've got 20 minutes to kill. And I haven't talked about the Battlefield game for 20 minutes in a really, really long time. But there is quite a bit to talk about uh, in, in this game, obviously, because it's new, it's fresh and it's fun. And I actually had no idea how fun it would be just because I'm so used to uh, BF3 not being fun. I mean, it is kind of fun, but, you know, it just had all these problems and nah. And before I jumped out this window, I was like, everyone, is space still parachute? And they were like, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, good, just checking, because I don't want to base jump to my death, because that would just be really embarrassing. So, my thoughts on the beta so far is really, really good. Uh, everyone's got the same problem, though. It's the frame rates, and I was getting... I don't know, between 40 frames per second and then it would spike up to 60 and then it would go down to like 10 and it was just, you're probably able to see in the video when it went up and down, but yeah, I didn't install the drivers because I had um, GE Force uh, or G Force. I don't really know how you say it. Is it GE or G Force? Whatever. I have the experience installed and it's supposed to automatically update drivers, but because they released this new driver as a beta it didn't automatically detect it and install it so yeah i'm gonna see if this makes any difference with my frame rate but i shouldn't really have too much of a problem um because i can run bf3 just fine and like ultra settings and record in 1080p it's you know this is exactly the same i you saw me change my settings down to high i think just to give myself a couple extra frames uh because the game it looks i don't know it's um it's a tad better than BF3. It's like in graphics, it's BF3.5. It's nothing revolutionary. You know, it, it looks pretty and it's still, you know, it's not got the aesthetic value as Bad Company 2 because that was just like over the top in pretty much, you know, everything in saturation and whatnot. But uh, it's, this is still, I think it's a solid game. When I played the, the BF3 beta, I was just like, oh, I don't like it because it was so different from Bad Company 2, which is what I'm used to. And like the the recoil was all off, how you how you aim, how you shoot, how you move, it was all it was all weird, and I had problems, and I, I really didn't didn't like the maps to begin with on BF3. Uh, Metro was kind of it was actually kind of fun to start with, but then you get used to a map, and it's just like, well, this is a bit of a bollocks map. But uh, the 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 map we're playing now, uh, I got the Shanghai Heights or something. I actually don't know the name of the map. Um, I'll have to find out the name of the map. I'm so stupid. I didn't. I didn't look at the name. But uh, this map, I really enjoyed this map. It's it's massive. Like it's actually huge. You have all these different levels, and there's different angles, and there's levolution or whatever it's called now, um, which is all. It's just like yeah, you can blow up buildings, uh, which is it. It's nice to blow up a building, especially seeing that ta the tower crumble on you. And yes, that has kind of flattened me on more than one occasion so far it's like oh, i'm inside a building what's that rumbling 
bollocks. But um, there's there's a lot of like neat little features in in this map that give it a lot of versatility. So it's it's the little things that make it really funny. So I think I don't know if it's been shown so far. It's probably later, but yeah, I think it's later. Uh, but there's a moment where we're just underground. I think it's around this area, and then someone just I think a teammate blows up up the road above where we are, and the teammate gets flattened by concrete. It's just we just had a, like such a laugh with that. It's like oh, there's a massive hole now. Come on, everyone, out the hole. And <laughs> there's also elevators, obviously, to get up and down, which is fun. Later on, I think a couple more minutes from now, you'll see. About an entire football team's worth of people fit into one elevator. It's, it's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. And we were pissing ourselves laughing when this was happening. Uh, I think it's, I think it's after we capture this point that the is it? Yeah, it's after this point that somebody blows the road up above us. I think uh, we'll have to wait and see. It might have already happened. I'm not really paying attention to the gameplay. Uh, and then there's bollards, which are a lot of fun. I can see those being like really tricky to kind of get the hang of because it's pretty obvious that someone's going to raise up some bollards. And is it going to happen? Is it now? Yeah! <laughs> I think, I think I can't remember, but I think it was um, somebody up top. Like, yeah, yeah, that was me, sorry. And it's like, well, come on, out the hole. But uh, the bollards can be pretty fun. I mean, it's just, you just wait for a, a jeep or something to come across a bridge, raise the bollards, and then just kind of... You've seen the videos, haven't you, when people try and get past um, security stations with bollards and stuff, and they just try and be all sneaky and the like, and they just kind of smash into them and ruin their car. And this is the point where I discover them. I was like, it's, it's this button. Oh, some bollards. Boop. Turn them on. And there they go. <laughs> um, I'll put a link down to... Uh, a video of Op Delta actually in the description. Uh, he done a, a video on just like it was a 20 second video or something like that, where he was um, he raised a bollard, stopped a jeep, and blew up, blew up the person. And it's just like <laughs> so good. Bollards are overpowered. Totally are. They're not. I think here we go. Here's the elevator party. <laughs> okay, so there's not that many of us in here at the moment, and then it's suddenly like hold the elevator, hold the elevator. Wait, more people. Ah! So we're all in couple more and then the guy on the right hand side he looks at me strangely in a second he's like i see into your soul and now we all have a party and it, it will just be it's just so crazy this is like our entire team or maybe like at least over half of our team just in this one elevator having a party and then a grenade goes off outside and if that was went off inside i would have laughed so hard just like well that guy got about 10 kills in the space of half a second it would have been the funny <laughs> i love the elevators they're just one of the best things about this map, you can you can just run in them up, up 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 and down all day. But the best part about them is like waiting for people to get out of them. I know it's like, oh, it's camping, but come on, the elevator. So, okay, so bad guy gets in the elevator. He goes up to the top of the building. Uh, people can see he's coming up to the top of the building because the elevator shuts and no one can like use it. And then when he arrives on the floor, it goes bing bong, which is just like dinner bell. Enemies here, bing 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 bing. Come on, come get him. So it's just so funny. And I think like later on, I think in the third game or something like that, I was just sitting there like on an elevator, just waiting, and it's like okay, ding dong, up, oh, someone's in the elevator, <laughs> dead. It was, oh, the elevators are so fun. It actually took me ages to work out how to get on top of this building as well. Like I know we're on top of this building. But there's on top of the building and on top of the building, which is where the guy killed me from. It took me like three games to realize, oh, that's how you get on top of the, on the roof. So yeah, all overall, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a pretty large map. There's a lot of open water, uh, apparently, uh, which none of us have been in because we didn't use the boats. Like we lost two out of the first three because uh, we weren't using armor and stuff really. Like, I didn't see a single tank on our team just for the first two games. I was like, oh, okay, we could do with some more tanks. And then I tried to spawn on a tank. It's like, where's a tank? So they're really hard to find. I need to learn the maps, but um, it's it's just fun, guys. Have a look at it. Um, you'll you'll see what I mean. The The recoil is manageable. The, the one thing I didn't like about Battlefield 3 was the recoil system. It was completely like bonkers. It was out of control. If you play Bad Company 2, the recoil, recoil system isn't that bad. It's just, you know, make sure you burst, you'll be fine. Uh, in BF3, even if you burst, you're, you've are you just gone... And it, it, it takes... It's a stupid amount of 
you know you have to move around to control your your recoil which is it's annoying it's stupid um and i hated it in bf3 like the the weapons how they handled it was just annoying uh bf4 you could it's just like the, it's there's still recoil but it's a lot more manageable and it doesn't like require you to play this game for hours and hours and hours on end to learn each weapon and how to master them so i really just liked jumping into the assault role and like being able to shoot uh, i've still got to learn how to play an fps though because uh i've not been playing them you can probably you should probably know this if you've been following my channel but yeah, I've took a break from FPS games and recording them and stuff for a long ass time. So I just, I really am like, I don't know how to play FPS games. So I need to get all the twitches back and like my keyboard control and mouse control and stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun to just go back to basics and relearn the whole game because it's like a whole new mechanic, you know, mechanics, a whole new system. It's just a lot of fun. And I think there's something bugged with the, team things because like i couldn't join a squad um like i've been playing this whole time just not in a squad because it wouldn't let me and i could have joined foxtrot but it's just like mm, i want to join the people i'm playing with so they really need to fix that i think that's a bug i'm not like 100 percent sure but like the squad system at the moment it's just really difficult to join a squad is we had um a couple other people be like why can't i join so yeah it's something that needs fixing but you know it's uh it's it's negligible Blah, i can't get my words out it's it doesn't matter it's you know as long as you just communicate and you're on the same team speak or whatever it's just like fine okay all it takes away from you is like a spawn point i haven't really gone into the um the weapons customization customization options and stuff just yet because i haven't really unlocked anything i've only just gotten above like level one it took me three games to get to level one i was like i was doing really really bad it's it's just so funny though i was doing terrible i'm being a scrub and sitting on top of this building just like mm, i'm gonna give you some grenades <laughs> what the hell was that i get too excited guys um i'm just i'm actually really excited for this game now the one thing I'm worried about is the map design because, yes, I'm, I, I like this map. I can see how it can turn into a scrub sniper's playground, uh, which is annoying because that happens later on. It's a lot of, you know, rooftop watching and being specific, blah, 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 uh, being specific, really specific with your aim. Like you can't, you can't really kill people that easily from the rooftops with like a grenade launcher or anything. It's the grenade launcher doesn't do that much damage, but you've still got to watch out because if there's a team of people on the roof, then you know all of them shooting down on you with some grenades and stuff, then you're you're pretty much dead. Like, it, so you can see how pretty it's pretty hard to hit people even on a roof with uh, an assault rifle. But I I still like it. Um, I hadn't quite worked out how to change my my gun back to fully automatic because yeah, I was just messing around with the keys at the start of the game. And I think I was like, mm, how did I do this? So I was pressing all the buttons that I pressed at the start of the game. And I think it was V to uh, change it back. Yeah, uh, I set my keyboard to X will be um, toggle crouch and C would be uh, toggle prone. And then V is whatever, toggle, uh, toggle, what is it, bullet, whatever, you know, semi, semi-automatic or full auto and stuff like that. And then I think... Like how I said it, how I had my setup in Battlefield 3 was I would have my mouse wheel up and down to do gadgets. Like I think gadget 3 was up and gadget 4 was scroll down. And then uh, the grenade was still G, but it fucked up on engineer. Like it wouldn't let me select my rocket launcher with the scroll wheel, but it, that was weird. Uh, I need to like change it a little bit though, because the knife, oh the knives. Okay, so this is the one thing that I'm in the middle ground about. Like it's a, it's a gray area for me. You can counter knife, you can, there are no knife swipes anymore apparently, they've removed just swiping from the game, it's either animation or nothing. And if you try to knife animation somebody, if they press F fast enough they kill you instead. And that's just like, well, if you've gone through the effort of sneaking around trying to kill, you know, just like, we're trying to get this knife kill and then somebody goes, oh, I'm just gonna press F like on a panic F or panic knife, and then he kills you, it's like, what the fuck is that? I was, it's happened to me, I was like so freaking annoyed and just, why? I, I know it's it's like a neat thing to say, just like, yeah, you've got counter knives and, but come on, if somebody gets the knife on you, they probably deserve it. Um, I don't know if it's just from the front or if it includes the back, but 
Oh, come on. Just remove the counter knife, please. It's it, it, Sure, it's a neat, nifty little feature, but I was just like... I was so frustrated when it happened to me. I do believe it should be at least kind of... I don't know. It's it's something that needs a lot of looking at. Um, if I'll, I'll have to look into it in the next game. If, if, if you cannot counter knife from behind, then I guess that's all right, but still... It's it's an annoying thing to, to just like do. It's like, yes, I got this guy. And then suddenly, what the hell's going on? He stabbed me. It's like, what the fuck? I thought I killed that guy. But no, it's um, it needs a lot of a lot of looking at because it will annoy a lot of people. There will be like a huge backlash from it. I assure you of just people going, but that was my knife. And uh, I don't know. It, it's an issue. We'll see how it turns out in the uh, the real deal. Real deal be in the actual game, by the way. I have no idea when it releases. Um, maybe it's in a couple of weeks. I haven't really been following it. Like, I've been busy. I've been playing other games like Dota. I've been playing a lot of Dota. Um, what else have I been playing? I actually can't remember what games I've been playing. Um, just, just generally not FPS games because I got bored of them. Like, Battlefield got a bit boring for me. Um, I wanted to play a bit of Zombies, but nobody wanted to play Call of Duty Zombies with me because that's the only reason why I buy it. But um, yeah, hopefully Battlefield 4 can sway me. And I know it's a bit early to be talking about this, but I really, really hope they move, don't make Battlefield 5 like directly after. I need... Okay, so here's... I'm, uh, I'm getting my words mixed up. Um, I, I was going to like start something and then I realised, no, I shouldn't really start it like that. But I need a different game, basically. Like, if it's the same series, then... Yeah, uh, it, it's neat and all, but... What happened with Battlefield 3 was, in between Battlefield 2, they'd done a bunch of other games and experiments and they improved their engine and they'd just done all these cool things and most of it was in Bad Company 2. And then in Battlefield 3 they incorporated all that they had learned within those lessons and made a solid game. It was a technically brilliant game, you can see my frame rate go like right down here. It was a technically brilliant game, it just didn't have the aesthetic value of some of the other experiments they'd done, primarily um, Bad Company. but. Um, and then they just went into straight into BF4. And it's like, did they learn enough lessons in Battlefield 3 alone to justify making the fourth one? I know it's EA saying, we want a sequel, make it, and ordering, like, literally. Like, it's, it's literally like a supply and demand. They order, it's like, like some networks order a series and then somebody makes the series. It's the same thing. The publisher order a game. They're like, we want this game. And then, <laughs> that was such a fail by me. And then, like, dice go make it. So, yeah, it's... It's mostly EA's fault that BF4 has come out, but I really hope they don't just go straight into BF5 because that would be so annoying. What's the... BF3 had like a two year life cycle and with the release of BF4, I do not see it being played like at all uh, in like for the future. The weird thing is, Bad Company Stu... To, the Bad Company Stu... <laughs> Oh my god, that would be like the worst meal in the world. Or the best meal, I don't know, depends if you like people. Uh, I guess that varies from person to person. But <laughs> there we go, I'm dead. I did not see that guy, like, at all. I just ran straight into his, um, his blade, but... Yeah, Bad Company 2 is still being played. The servers are still pretty well populated. Um, BF3, yeah, it's still being played, but I think with the release of BF4, it's just going to be like, whoop, because BF4 does seem like more of a BF3 upgrade. It's not BF3.5, it's literally just like, here's the game, we've completely reworked it, and some more mechanics, made it look a little bit prettier, and, and stuff like that. So, I can just, I can see BF4 just replacing BF3 all out, instead of, you know, becoming another option, because, you know, BF3, BF4, you know, the, the number system's there. It's not a different franchise or anything. It is the same thing. So, yeah, it might be like a, a couple years until BF3 gets their servers taken down or something. But eh, we'll, we'll find out. And I've been talking for like 19 minutes and my my throat is really killing because I'm, I'm really rusty on this. Like, how did I do this before? Like, how did I talk for 20 minutes like at a time? I really should plan these things up because I'm struggling at the moment. It's just like, what am I talking about? Um, I think... At this point, something... Yeah, I think like my motherboard arrived at this point. So I, I you'll probably hear me in the live commentary shout, Yeah! Uh, to my, my mother downstairs, just like, oh shit, okay. And then I open my motherboard and be like, yeah, cool, we've got a motherboard. Uh, for the That's for the iHack project, by the way, which is coming along well. I currently have the case, which is here. 
I have the uh, processor, which is an i7-4770K. I have a motherboard, which is a Gigabyte Z87XOC. And I have the power supply, which is a Corsair like CX500W or something like that. Um, so all I'm waiting for now is the RAM and the hard drive, and then I can start building it and do the next video. But I'm, yeah, I'm getting a bit off topic. Oh, topic. Oh, I can't get my words out. <laughs> I'm getting a bit off topic, people, and I'm sorry I'm rusty, but, you know, I'm, I haven't done these in a long time, especially something at this length. I mean, when i done Dota 2, I could talk about the certain plays, but I can't really talk about plays in this just because it's a new game. Like, this is my first time playing it. And look, see, there's just the sniper who's really being a pain in the ass. It was a good shot. It was quite far away, but I was being still, so you can't really say much about that. Um, apparently, the sniper... The sniper rifles have a really kind of straight shot. There's not that much bullet drop on it. But apparently as well, it depends on the rifle. Like they've got different velocities and drop-off distances. Whereas in other variations or iterations of the Battlefield uh, series, they basically had the same. I'm not sure how it works in BF3 because if you look back at my channel, I didn't exactly do that many BF3 videos either because, you know, it wasn't as enjoyable as Bad Company 2. And... Like it wasn't getting the views and and stuff. I still do this for fun, which is why I'm you know obviously still carrying on. But obviously you know I'm not going to be going crazy with videos. Um, there'll be six BF4 beta videos out within the next week or two because obviously I'm doing uh, the live commentaries. I'm just going to be uploading those, and then I'll be doing the standard like post commentaries straight afterwards. So. I've got a lot to talk about. Maybe from the next one I'll do a play-by-play -play and just be like, oh, I remember this bit and, you know, my thoughts behind it. But honestly, <laughs> I don't think that hard when playing first-person shooters. I really don't. Uh, I just I just look at the screen and then I just look at the situation. I'm just like, okay, I just go with it. I don't think, okay, so that person's coming up from behind here, which means I should do this. I don't actively, like, think like that. That was a really, like, easy kill. Like, <laughs> double kill. But, um... It's it's how I've always worked. Uh, I wanted to chase this knife so bad. I was like, I want oh, fuck it, <laughs> shoot these other guys. So you can that that moment there. That was obviously like me being out of practice and being crap. If I would have just if I was in practice and like not rusty, I would have just said, okay, I'm gonna kill that guy quickly, reload and kill the other guy. I would have been a lot easier snapping to them and stuff. I wouldn't have missed and died basically because I had the perfect drop on them. Uh, I think I turned my brightness up as well because this game's. Yeah, it's um, a bit... Yeah, you need to tweak it so you can see things. Like, I always have that problem with the new Battlefield game, but I can't see the characters that well. But uh, this is the end of the video now. We basically lose uh, because because we're all scrubs, basically. I say basically a lot, sorry. But uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys, because this one's about to end. So thanks for watching, and take care.